State Building. Z100 Artist Interview Lounge presented by Grubhub and um, it, can we call him Benson Backflip Boone in the building? <laughs> Woo! Yo! Hey! Benson Backflip Boone in the building! <laughs> Benson, Yo, billions man. of streams, Boone. Oh my billions, gosh. Honey. I like I like that one more. <laughs> yeah. That was a little bit. I yeah. mean, it, it definitely lets the world know what you've been doing, what you've been up to, man. Uh, music creating, new music, sold out tour dates. Um, I don't even know where we begin. How about we just first start with Dude, you're showing the chest. How's the heart health feeling, man? How's Bro, that inside? The How heart, are you doing? the heart health is feeling good, man. Yeah, I, I'm feeling great. Actually, I just got a personal trainer, and Word. and yesterday was my first day working out. Ooh, your boy feeling good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Maybe not when I'm walking, but yeah, when I'm sitting down, I'm feeling jelly, good. Huh? Yeah. Benson, what inspired that? What made you be like, it's time now? You know, when I go on stage, like. I know it's I know it sounds a little a uh, little crazy, but like when when I go on stage, a lot of you know a lot of the girls in the crowd will be like Benson, take off your shirt, and yeah. I'm like, yeah. no, I can't do that. Do that. Not right <laughs> I don't want to do that. So I want to be able to do that so that like when I do that, you know, everybody's jaw just drops, <laughs> and they're on, like, man. what? He's we're, ripped we're, like Well, that? we're getting side we're nipple right now, and now I'm not oh. complaining. I'm not Woo, complaining about the what? side nipple. Oh Do it, honey. You're in a safe place. But, you know, it's like, you know, it's it's just nothing special right now, and I want it to be something special. Okay. Who inspires you Oh. in the gym? Who are you trying to be like oh, in that body oh, like? Oh, Dan Reynolds. Oh, wow. <laughs> From Imagine you're Dragons. Trying to be like that? I mean, no, listen. no, no. no. He, okay, he's like, I know I'll never be him. <laughs> He's like he's like nine feet tall and that he just looks two. like Goliath. Yeah. But yeah. me, I'm I'm go for like David. So it'll be like David and Goliath, except we don't fight, you know, because oh, I don't want to fight him. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, listen, he's he's not a, a a fighter. I mean, you drop that name as if it's just anybody. It's somebody. It's someone who, aside from probably your your gym life, you, you look up to because I mean, this is a dude who put his stamp of approval on you. We talked about it, and the world knows, man, that to be a part of his label, for him to um, seek out your sound and say this is someone who's got it what does that mean to you brother dude it, it it's honestly a huge compliment because he is such a genuine guy yep like he he really is very experienced in this business obviously and a very talented musician and for him to like think you know so highly of me is i mean one i, I feel a little bit of pressure but <laughs> um but it, it really is just like it motivates me to want to be better you know because sure. not every day not every day dan reynolds um you know says, says that, stuff yeah. like that takes you under his wing Dude. yeah um a lot of people might not know that after american idol yeah he discovered you and you guys spent a lot of hours together and yeah. writing creating what what is something that maybe the world doesn't know about imagine dragons dan um, Dan is probably the most disciplined human being I have ever met in my whole life wow. where like he literally he like wakes up at 4 a.m. works out writes a song I mean he's also got four kids Wait, every keep day? in mind every day writes yeah. a new song right writes a new song every day he just like he just like has his schedule and he will not let anyone get in the way of that he just does his thing Damn. and then spends time with his family like like does it. it's oh. just a crazy like he for, for the level of performance that he has he just keeps it together so well and i don't even get like i don't even understand well, but you're soaking it all in and you're you're taking it in like a sponge and you're formulating your career after someone like that that discipline that um not just uh in the in the regimen of the schedule but the creativity i mean you're, you're going there with your sound with your emotions the same kind of passion that he puts in his music and they play in the music for the band to know that you're setting yourself up to be on that same path bro um how, how you feeling being that this is still fairly new to you you know what i mean like you just discovered your voice yeah. and your sound like four years ago, man. Come on, dude. Yeah, it, it is crazy, like, especially, you know, this isn't really what I expected to be doing with my life. Or, or like, I didn't even expect this to be an option yeah. until just a few years ago. And so it is amazing to, like, to live a dream that's a new dream. Like, mm -hmm. like it's not something I've wanted since I was a kid. It's, like, something I've wanted for the past couple of years because it's a new passion. And it's... Like, you know, at first it's kind of 
crazy to adjust to but like now that i'm doing it i mean it's going i don't know what else i'd be doing it's just it's amazing passion bro yeah i really did Mm. and elaborating on what you've learned from dan reynolds when you see him being a dad is that something that you're like i think i could do that too one day or you just take everything one day at a time well he's kind of i mean that that's definitely something that i want to be i've always wanted to be a father um and also, like, I want four kids. It's always how how many kids I wanted. Really? So it meant to happen like that. Whoa. So he's just he he's living my future. All right, hey, let's uh let's segue into gosh, man, this year we're now into 2023, and you put some dates out there on the on the map. And oh you're, yeah, you know, you're gonna be all throughout. You know, some tour dates in Europe, and you're seeing some. Um, you can't buy a ticket to some of these shows. Uh, then we get shows here in the states. How excited are you for pull, for this pole tour, bro? Dude, I'm so pumped. This is because this is this will be like my first official tour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that you're gonna be looking good for now that you got the personal trainer and uh, whatnot. I know, right, <laughs> dude? Come on. <laughs> yeah. But I'm so excited because performing is is like by far my favorite part. I love to be in front of a crowd and like, you know, giving the energy to people and them giving it back. Like it's it's it definitely is my favorite part. But I'm excited to just like have a buzz and have yeah. a band and have the boys yeah. and we're just on the road and hitting shows what and about I'm so these excited. Venues grow. I mean, to set some of these venues and saying, "Sorry guys, gotta move to." a bigger venue you know what i mean hey guys adding another date the smile is big on your face now (laughs) it must feel freaking dope it is it is freaking dope (laughs) it is it just it feels good to know that like people want to come to the shows dude and i'm more excited because like i want to show these people that like they're gonna get something that you can only pay to see like yeah. like no one on tiktok is gonna see this no one on instagram no one on twitter no one on anything like you paid for a ticket for benson boone and i'm gonna give you a show and that's what i'm excited for Bro, man, you said it. how are you preparing for this because having your own tour your own bus but then you have so much inspiration from other artists like what are you picking up that you're like i definitely want this on stage for my fans you know, I've like um, I've been going to some concerts. I went to like Harry Styles a couple weeks ago, and just I I like to just watch what people do, and it just gives me some ideas. But I feel like are you talking ripping your pants on stage? Also, is that what you're gonna <laughs> yeah, do? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right, no, right, that was nice yeah, that yeah. definitely planned. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I think like when I'm on stage, it's like my body just kind of takes over me, and it just like it just does what it's gonna do. And so I can plan as much as I want, but it's never gonna go exactly how I plan it. And I'm not much of a planner anyway. Like when I did, I did like a mini tour in December where it was like seven or eight shows. And I can't like, I don't choreograph anything. I don't plan anything with the band. We just make sure like we have one rehearsal for like an hour just to make sure everybody knows the songs and that's it. And then I go on stage and it's like, I do a song and then I just kind of riff in between. Dope. And then like, that's just my thing and I love it. I love it. It makes the show even better because I don't even know what's going to happen. It's a jam session. It turns into what the music is truly about. It's just you feeling the emotions and feeding off of the fans, as you say, and just letting that letting that story come to life, letting those emotions flow through the songs. And you're already a soulful dude. Your voice is already there. But now when you get there and you're actually in that moment with your boys, with your band, with your guys, with yeah. the family, with the folks behind the camera that you've known for years and watching this jam session be a sold out tour show god man i mean after you leave the stage how how exciting are those moments dude that's probably one of the craziest feelings is leaving the stage like going from the maximum highest energy i could possibly feel and then just just going off and it's like (laughs) damn that went good like (laughs) It it is it is a really good feeling and it's like it's like it's better when you know my family's there and I can yeah. see my family or I got friends in the back, um, but you know like it just when you have good people with you it it makes that like post stage loneliness go away yeah because because you got your buddies to share it with and so that's super important that's what it's about in less than a month a month away you're starting i know we're so excited and in in europe like we got we got a 
big tour bus, so I'm <laughs> bringing a bunch of my buddies, and <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> um, you're, you're talking UK, Amsterdam. You're talking, dude, wow. some of these places. Germany. Have you, yeah, have you been to, Has have you gotten those stamps on your passport yet, or is this going to be your first time really stepping foot in these other uh, countries? Um, I think I've been to almost all of them. Okay, all right. There, yeah. There's definitely like, like two or three that I haven't been go. to, but... Yeah. To experience yeah. it, you know, this comes up a lot too with a lot of, uh, you know, artists here in the states traveling to Europe and UK and and well, not UK, but other parts of the world where they don't speak English as the first or maybe even second language. But your songs are connecting, you know, as a songwriter, as a creator, writing these stories that are so personal to you. You do that, and they connect with folks that have to learn the lyrics, but they learn them and they're there for you. What is what is that feeling like for you? Who, um, it's a it's a pretty incredible feeling because like when when there is stuff like that like a language barrier, yeah. it it just shows that like just because you know just because you don't fully understand something at first like everybody goes through similar feelings everybody feels sad everybody feels happy everybody feels depressed at times every like like everybody goes through these emotions and it's just cool to like to to actually see that happen like. Mm-hmm. My song, like, like Room for Two, was blowing up in Korea, and it's like I gotta go there, and it's like it was crazy. I did a show there that I didn't even know how many people could understand what I was saying in between songs, but like they love the music, yeah. and it is like it is like an emotional experience to perform for people that are just there because they actually love the music. I mean, a hundred like the the record that you wrote specifically about your grandmother. You know what I mean? But it was like it wasn't necessarily that every is going to connect to their grandmother you know it's about connecting to that special mm-hmm. person in your life and now with uh with with got it right here in bold letters sugar sweet i gotta get into that well, one well, for I mean, sure there's connecting. so many things to hit with this yeah first of all produced by jason uh evigan that's how i say it mm-hmm. who's worked with justin bieber dua lipa maroon five like the biggest of the biggest in the industries what have you one learned from working with him, and two like any stories that he shared about other artists like that that you could share with us? Dude, that guy is probably one of the most humble people. He is so talented. He's so good, and and no one works like Jason Evigan. Where like, I don't know what goes on in his head that's like it's just magical. He just hears the sounds and like the way he produces. It is so different from any other producer I've ever seen. But um, he just like he just does his own thing. Like he has his own style of, of even just clothing that he wears, and and I just love it. I love him because he love would it. never change for anyone. So Jason Evigan, I, I will always be a fan of him. Um, but yeah, like on, on this record, it, we just wanted to go for something a little bit different, and we did. And I. I love Sugar Sweet, so I'm Nailed so it. glad he got to produce it. Nailed You're it. so open in that song because it's a it's a vulnerable song. You've mentioned that it's your sassy song about moving on from someone who treats you like a second option instead of a priority, and that really does sum it up. Um, what do you What do you do when someone treats you like that? Like how how do you do How do you react to that? Write a well, song about it. You, yeah. gotta say, right? yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I feel like I'm pretty terrible at like taking care of myself. Um, it's something I've just kind of never been good at. Um, but like when someone else treats me like that, I mean, obviously it's not the best thing. But like, depending on who it is, like I, I still want to like be there for that person. And so I sometimes have a hard time with that. And this time I was like, no, no, not this time. What? Like I'm gonna. Why did you feel that way? Because I I was just tired of like. <laughs> I'm just tired of this person coming back and thinking I'm always going to be here and they can just like leave and then come back like everything's fine. Like, like it's not. Like yeah. that's not cool. And I just put up with it for a while and I was like, yeah, I'm going to write a song. Yeah, Does that do person that. know that the song is about them? Huh? No. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no. I mean, do you ever plan on telling them or no? That's just going to be um, your If they don't figure it out. <gasps> That's the first problem. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's reply. a lot of things to unpack. <laughs> yeah, um, but you know, listen, it's you, nah. it's your release. It's your your way mm-hmm. to your way to express your your feeling, your energy. And again, it's another story that everyone can connect yeah. to. You know, I mean, somebody on the planet that's in 
Tokyo, Japan, Korea, in Brazil, in some of these cities that you're going to hit. And when you're in the Netherlands, in Amsterdam, and folks are going to be singing along to this song, they're going to be going through that same emotion. So um, as a songwriter, are you, how, how confident do you get each time that you create these records like this that do continue to hit the nail on the head and, and connect in the way that you would hope that they would? Yeah. You know? I, honestly, I think... Uh... I think my confidence is only going up because yeah. if you hear the records that you know that's that what we are gotta coming, know about, yeah, dude. What is on? Because the, the last EP was amazing. So as you grow and you start to learn more about yourself, and the confidence does get to get a little bit bigger and better. Yeah. Um, y y what are these next you know batch of stories uh, feeling like in in your heart, more in your sass? head, bro? Is more sass coming from you. Definitely. Yeah. And I, I, do, I like I forget what songs are out because you know I have access to all obviously like all my unreleased yeah. songs. So I listen to like a variety of my music. Um. But it's crazy like how different the music that I'll be releasing this year is than like my EP and in, in the Stars and Ghost Town. Like, it is a more developed and just like uh, maybe more mature. But I don't want to throw that word around because I'm 20. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still trying to be in my just 20 like era, like this yeah. is like my Bruno Mars era. So love that, yeah. dude. Bro. And for twenty, I mean, I have to, I have to point it out. The stash is coming in thick, my man. You know, let's talk about that. Ooh. Any other ideas for facial hair, or, or are you gonna let the chest hair go off? I, I could, I really could try, but um, <laughs> I was gonna do action words. Please, thank yeah. you. You can, you can count them. You can there count you them. Go. Yeah, you can count these ones too. Okay. But, so uh, are you exploring what's going on? Give me like another year, and this stash is gonna be so full. Yeah, you won't even know what to do. It. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing what you gotta do. Yeah, it's like it's like sixty percent there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're doing all right. Yeah. I love how on uh, IG you just recently, you know, when you saw your your photo when you went to the to the to the office and you saw, you know, what I'm saying young Benson and now you, and you know, you did the side by side picture, man. That growth and and I feel like you've answered this question before, but what would you tell young Benson now? You know that 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 Benson then, you know, maybe even be prior to before that that picture on the, the on the wall yeah. to now mustachioed, you know. Oh, be dude, here. Yeah, if I you... could, if I could talk to my younger self, I'd be like, bro, you can sing, <laughs> you can <laughs> sing, yeah. dude. Yes, like, yeah. I didn't even know I could sing when I took that picture. I was like, like I had just turned seventeen, mm -hmm. and my buddy that I grew up with, uh, he has this great like. Um, photography Say his business. Name, man. Easton Lemos, dude. There you go. Life and Light in Seattle. Shout yeah. out to my boy. Yes. And he's like, he's so talented, but like, he he offered to just like like you know take some pictures of me, and I was like, dude, hell yeah, of course. <laughs> like, if I could. Oh, if he just knew he could sing. Yeah. I could I, I could have been I could have been practicing. <laughs> man. I could have been practicing. You know what? I love that you bring up, you know, homies in Seattle because that's that's your spot. That's where you're from. Um we we have love for the West Coast as well. Yeah. Uh, but now that you're traveling the world and ha I have been um a lot of people in Seattle sometimes feel like it's a, a dark place and it's hard to live. Like can you speak a little on that? You know, yeah, so like like growing up there for me, it was perfect because I li I grew up like an hour north of Seattle, um, a lot of mountains by me, and I was like backpacking, mountain biking, rock climbing, cliff jumping, like all the time. That's kind of how I grew up. And so for me, it was great because if it ever rained, if I wasn't in the mountains, I would just go skimboarding like in the floods with my buddy, and that was like what we did. So it was, I don't know, I, I like the rain, and I don't really like mind getting my clothes drenched so it's fine but when i go back there now like i do realize like how gloomy it is and how dark it is so i don't know if i'd live there in the future i honestly don't know where i live in the future probably hawaii but <laughs> multiple houses Paradise. let's go ahead and manifest that yeah yeah, you know yeah. if i get married I will definitely when? like it, it. It depends on where my wife wants to live, but like that's I what would, we're talking about, lady. I would love like you know like two, two or three houses. Right. If I don't get married, I ain't living nowhere. I'm just there everywhere. Back I'm everywhere. You're exploring the world. Yep. Bro. Wait, yep. you said that you were cliff diving. Yeah. Wait, can you expand on that a little bit? Like, are were you okay? Was there any? Like, oh no, no, no. Huge bandaid issues. It was great. That you know, there's always a couple injuries, but like. Um, what do you it, mean? There's always a couple injuries. <laughs> in Washington, there's like a there's a lot of cliff jumping. You just like, I don't know, go on a hike, and then at the top of this hike, you know, there's like a great 
body of great big lake and there's just a big rock that's like sticking 60 or 70 feet above the water and you just jump off it and see what happens dude yeah i survived man i did i'm here i'm here now (laughs) you're doing it um hey before we get you out of here man and i mean obviously we're talking sugar so we're talking this amazing right we're talking the video too uh was that just you and your homies? Just let's take over a beach and play volleyball for Bro. a little bit. And let me, give me a video camera. And we literally went to Hawaii just a couple weeks ago. Okay, I actually got really quick. I got to tell yeah, you this. Please do, because it so, just looked like the bombest ass time, bro. Dude, this video came together so last minute. We were supposed to go to Fiji. Oh. And then Fiji had like this crazy typhoon, and we're like, mm. I was really down to go and just like try and I it don't know, like, like surf this some crazy waves. This doesn't even sound like waves. real life right now. What you're saying? I know. Like, we're gonna go to Fiji, but then there's a typhoon. <laughs> and so, so we're, like, some of the boys are like, Nah, let's just go to Hawaii. And I'm like, ah, If we okay. have to. <laughs> and so, we plan on going to Hawaii, and my label's like, Yo, you can't go on your trip. Like, you got to film a music video. And I'm like, Um, no, you come to <laughs> us, and we'll film a video in Hawaii. <laughs> and they're like. All right. And so, you know, everybody's happy. We get like a little film crew to Hawaii. And like for the first couple of days, uh, we're just, we're filming a video. But like right before I left, literally I was at the airport going to Hawaii and we did not have a girl for the video. Oh. And we're like trying to find like, 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 like contacting like agencies and like trying to find someone. And I just, I was like, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And right as I'm about to board my flight, I look across the terminal and there's this girl. And, you know, she looked, like, it's like one of those girls that, you know, the airport girl that catches your eye, you oh, know? And so I was like, a video, maybe. It's like, what are the odds? <laughs> so I ran up to her real quick before I boarded and I was like, hey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a musician and I'm filming a music video and you are super cute. So you should like definitely be in it. Bruh. And And she's like, okay. Where where is it? And I'm like, it's on, uh, we'll be on Oahu tomorrow. And she's like, well, I live in Maui, and that's where I'm flying back to, so that's come perfect. On, and I'm like, bro. let's go. Much. That's like a 20 minute flight. Just come, just come tomorrow. I'll get you a flight, and we'll just like you can stay there for a couple of days. I'll get you a hotel. Like it's no worries. Just just come, and it'll be great. It's yeah. me and my boys. And she's like, amazing. Let's do it. Got her number. She was there the next day, and that was the girl in the music video. Oh. Are you still oh texting her? What's going gosh. on? Is there a follow up? Yeah, well, the, it's we're like we're we're like friends now. It's not yeah. like long it's not like a long distance situation. Not a it's thing. not like a yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you found she's, a new she's so friend. cool. You found a new family member. You found somebody to invite yeah. into the fold to be a part of this journey. And this story gives me goosebumps because it's like it's like a freaking sitcom. And that's how I met yeah. your mother. Like you know, I don't like, know, who really <laughs> knows? Why people with the houses? But, and now you got so, a Hawaii oh, plug. Whenever man. you're in Hawaii, you got a plug there. I know that's and that's the best. That's, that's the best part. <laughs> but like she's dope. Things oh. like that yeah. are meant to happen for the Man, right that's people. It. Well, oh. congratulations. Good yes, the Lord. video is sick. The oh. song, we are loving it. Dude. Congratulations on your sold out shows Thank all you. around the world. Congratulations on the new album coming out. We're yeah, so dude, happy bro. for you. The girl that we've seen, man. Keep yeah. getting those billion streams that. on spot on dude. everywhere. Keep getting those streams, and we can't wait because I feel like the next time we see you, it's gonna be even more. You're gonna be here for your your show, so. Oh yeah. We'll see what you guys is. better be coming God, to. Yeah. Damn, you, listen, We're you say there. the word, Big Bird. Backup Come dancers. on, fam. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not my, doing my backup flip. dancers. I'm not doing a backflip, bro. I'm gonna leave that to you. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Guys, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, inside of our Z100 Artist oh, Interview Lounge, God. presented by Grubhub. <laughs> we got Benson in the building. Thank you, guys. Thank you. That guy. From the top of the Empire State Building. Z100.